We we can't even see it. What am I watching? What? This is the worst software. Welcome back guys to a brand new million video. In this video, what we're going to be doing is using a free software to edit a montage. And if you guys watch my last editing tutorial video, then you guys will know I use Premiere Pro. And what we're gonna try and do is edit a small montage for you guys and see how hard it is. So a lot of you guys who watched my last video actually asked me, can we do this in DaVinci Resolve? And I got tons of comments about it. So what we're gonna be trying to do today is using DaVinci Resolve to edit a Fortnite montage. So if you guys wanna see more of this, then make sure you drop a like on the video. Anyway, enough of the nonsense. Let's get right into the video. So what we're gonna do is actually go on to Resolve. I actually haven't opened this project yet, so I have no idea what to do. Okay, uh, we are gonna start a new project. Uh, we're just gonna name it the Da Vinci Montage, I guess. There we go. Okay, and just like that, it is it is open. So now we're gonna just import our clips. So this is my clip here. So I'm just gonna import this. Okay, so it is placed it on our timeline. I don't actually, how do I move the, the top? Oh, so, wait, what? So forwards is backwards and backwards is forward. That makes, that makes perfect sense. Honestly, that makes perfect sense. Okay, I'm just scrolling to where we hit the clip. I think it's just about here. So let's just play this. How do we, how do we cut it? Okay, there. Oh, that just got rid of everything. Split. We've done it. I think we have our clip. Let's play this back. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, oh. Boom, fuzzled onion, absolutely destroyed. All right, so we're gonna drag and drop our music over. The music will be linked in the description. It is by 44 Vincent again. Absolutely amazing artist. I cannot stress it enough. He does not post bad songs, I'm telling you. Okay, so I've just have to import my song. Let's just drag this over. Okay, we just need to sync this up now. So let's just go ahead. That's a beat drop. And this is when we kill the guy, just about here. Guys, look at this. I'm, I'm already becoming a pro. We're gonna add some cinematics as well. Okay, so you guys, no, we're going all in. This shit is a miracle. Okay, okay. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. So we just synced the clip up. So now what we're actually going to go ahead and do is record a cinematic. And if you guys want to learn how to actually make cinematics, then go down to the description and watch my editing tutorial video. It is very, very helpful. Okay, let's just exit out of this and we're going to open up Fortnite and get our cinematics. So now that we're in Fortnite, we're just going to get down to where we got our clip. I'm pretty sure this is the time. So we're just going to open up our replay file and now we're going to record our cinematic. So recording a cinematic is easily the most important part of the montage because you want to be smooth as possible. So I'm just going to go ahead and record these cinematics. So now that we have our cinematics, we're just going to hop into DaVinci and we're going to just try and time map these and make them as beautiful as possible. Okay, so we have DaVinci open, so we're gonna do what we can do. So, once we've imported the cinematics, let's just trim these so they're nice and smooth. Okay, so just like that, we have trimmed all our clips, so I guess we just bring them over here. How do we on? How do we get rid of the audio on them? I don't want this audio. Oh, I can just delete it, look at that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I just select retime curve. So this is, this is the little curve that we get, okay, okay. And now it's just like Premiere. If you guys watch my other tutorial, it should be pretty basic. We just like drag these up, I guess. Yo, I'm like, Da Vinci, Da Vinci, like I might have to swap to Da Vinci. This is, this is low-key a good program. All right, let's keep cranking this to like 5,000. There we go. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and add our little transition. So I'm pretty sure I saw it here. Yeah, add transition, let's just, okay. I think it just added our own custom transitions. So I don't wanna cross this off. So can we, are we able to change that is the question. N no. So can, is there no, it's just cross this off. That's the only transition transition that the software has. Okay, so I've just figured out you can add Sapphire plugins to DaVinci Resolve. There will be a link in the description to a video that will help you download it. This guy made an amazing tutorial on how to edit on DaVinci. So make sure you guys go check that out. Link in the description. So I think we can just go ahead and search Blur Mode Curves. And just like that, we are home, boys. Let's just drag and drop this on everything. Everything. So we're just going to change this, this, and this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try and add Blur Mode Curves to the the rest of these clips this is like literally look at this i'm gonna play this back 
We we can't even see it. What am I watching? What? The software is so bad. I can't even view it. Yo, I'm liking DaVinci. DaVinci, like I might have to swap to DaVinci. I don't know how long I've been messing around with this, but I think I've gotten something. So we're just going to go ahead and play this back and see if we can actually view it. Okay, let's go. Of, of course not. Why would I have thought like we could have actually played our video back? I'm just going to like figure out how to render this. It's a bit, uh, like, why is there like, why is there like lines? Why is there lines everywhere? <laughs> what? What have we made? Okay, so we're not gonna stop there. What we're actually gonna do is try and add a little bit of brightness on our kill. So I actually have no idea how this is gonna work. Search for brightness, I guess. Oh, there we go. That's some brightness. So we put the person here. So let's just crank this all the way up. Let's let's play this back. This okay, we are getting somewhere. Let's go. So let's just try and see. Are we able to get like a scale thing or is there something up here? A zoom? Yeah, that might work. There we go. Look, now we've got a bit of a zoom and we'll put this back to one out here. Let's ha let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This I can't really see it. That does not look that bad. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is see if we can get black bars on these cinematics. I've actually like zero clue on how to do this. Do we have crop or any? No, we don't have. Okay. Oh, they have it. They have it. They have it. Okay. It's in the default settings. So let's. So if we crop like that and then also on the bottom, but I think we have our black bars now. <laughs> <laughs> this looks so bad. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and render this out so we can see the masterpiece that we just created. So let's have a look. Let's name this the Vinci Montage Insane. Okay, so it just rendered. So let's have a look at what we created. It's uh, a bit zoomed in from the first look of it, but you know, that's all right. We're, we're fine with that, okay? <laughs> what have we created? So first off, like the black bars didn't even work for half of what we did. Let's uh, let's, let's let's watch this back. Let's watch this back. So I I honestly I have no idea how this happened at all. It's not even a black bar. It's just like a line across the screen. The the black bars just they're just non-existent for this clip. S same with the transitions. The transitions just disappeared. Like we we made transitions and they're gone. Okay. Uh, we did get a bit of a zoom in, but the brightness disappeared. Okay. This might actually be the worst software you can find. This software has given me such a headache. So I'm going to end the video here. It was fun, but very, very stressful. If you guys want to see more like this, like maybe I'll edit a video on Share Factory or Windows Movie Maker or iMovie. Who knows, okay? Then just drop a like on the video and leave a comment and comment down Da Vinci if you made it this far. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.